Who wants to be a millionaire? Now, tonight, I want to make one of our six contestants considerably better off, because I'm nice like that. And also because it's not my money. Right, uh, now, to see which one of you gets to sit in the chair, you're each going to wrestle a bear. <laughs> no? All right, we'll do fastest finger first, then. You see, at the bottom, you have chihuahuas, tiny, eaten by a seagull, cocker spaniel, German shepherd, and then the Great Dane, not eaten by a seagull. <laughs> right, now, let's see how many people got it right. <laughs> All but one. Let's not say his name, Peter. And who was the fastest? <laughs> right, let's see how many got it right. <laughs> None of them. That's the simple answer. None of them. <laughs> well, it had to happen one day. Shall we try again? Right, so you're going freestyling your way uh, onwards. Let's have a look at the... That was a cough. Who coughed? <laughs> was at the wrong time. I haven't asked anything yet. <laughs> what a snazzy dresser. Tom. Somebody wasn't interested in that line of conversation <laughs> I just thought of. I gather you're a keen cyclist. Yes. Does your car break down a lot, or do you do it...? <laughs> I always take the view if you can cycle while I drive. <laughs> it's good, knew... you get... It's fresh air. I always knew the police were odd. I knew you were that <laughs> odd. So, what do you teach? I teach RF, um, but I'm also a trained history teacher, and I'm a school chaplain as well. Oh, so you're an enthusiast of the baby Jesus? I am, <laughs> <isn't> I? <laughs> you're a Scrabble champion, I gather. Well, I, I'm, I am an accomplished Scrabble player. I'm not as good as I used to be. But you've competed in some fairly significant... I went to Perth, Western Australia, for the World Championships a couple of years ago, two or three years ago, yes. Can I just ask, I'm sorry if this is boring everybody, but I love Scrabble. Are you one of those players who allowed words like QI and J-O? If it's in the book, it's allowable. Even if it's a word you find offensive, if it's in the book, it's playable. Mm. Not at my house, it isn't. <laughs> You've got to be able to say what it means. That's the rule I have. You have to say what it means. It's Otherwise, not in the official rules. I don't care what the official rules are. <laughs> <laughs> Led my life like that. Anyway, <laughs> no, this is, I mean, this is tremendous. Um, and you are making great television. Look, look at it that way. People at home are loving this. Nobody's turning over. Whatever the BBC's showing, they've had it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. The man has £250,000. Are you single? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, enjoy yourself, mate. That's all I can say. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Christopher Page! Thank you. Sorry. I will make a decision very, very shortly. Yeah, no, I'm... Sure you will. Can we go, um... I'm, sorry, I'm not yawning, it's just spare excitement <laughs> leaving my body. But then I, I you know... Oh, it's tense in here. I haven't been this nervous since Richard Hammond last said, oh, don't worry, I'll drive. Um, <laughs> right, this is for one million pounds. Somebody's just fainted. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's, okay. it's okay, it wasn't David, but it might be me in a minute. That's how I'm going to phone my friend, please. Who are we phoning? Paul. Driving instructor? Almost, but he's into motorsport and he races cars. Okay. Because there's nobody here that could have helped you with that. <laughs> 23 metres, final answer. Uh, yes, he's right. You're right. Well done. You got 32. <laughs> um, yes, I did know. I'm saving you. Please. 75 feet. Oh, it's not true, by the way. Just in case anybody's looking. All I mean, that was set by a Ford Anglia in 1964. All cars can stop <laughs> a lot faster than that these days. But um, nobody realizes it. Um, anyway. 
What subject, then, are you saving for me? <laughs> Clearly you... not cars. <laughs> yeah, what, what subject do you think is going to come up where you think, oh, yeah, Jeremy's the man for this job? I think geography. Geography? Oh, OK. Or maybe military as well. Or military. <laughs> well, we'll see, shall we? This is for £64,000. You only have one lifeline left, and his specialist subject is God. <laughs> My final answer is Ross. You're right. You've got £4,000. Well done. Yeah, Monica was a chef. Uh, Rachel works in fashion. Joey was an actor. I don't know what ever happened to the character that played Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Just feared without a trace. <laughs> Poor man. Uh, that's D, take me out. Final answer. Yep, you're right, and that's £1,000. <laughs> to the host of that. <laughs> <laughs> Disappeared without a trace. I, I don't think you know much about horses. I could be wrong. Um, you do, do live in the countryside. But I can't really see you on top of one. <laughs> <laughs> this is my poker face. <laughs> so I'm duty-bound to pull at times like this. According to a well-known proverb, what is the spice of life? Vanity, variety, virtue, or vanilla? Hello? <laughs> 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 I'm just thinking it through, Jeremy. <laughs> You're using telepathy to convey the answer. <laughs> 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 He's gone again. <laughs> it's a difficult one, Jeremy. I'm not going to lie. I'm struggling with this one. I've never heard that saying before. That's the reason why it's difficult. Ah. <sighs> right. Uh... Well, you've got. Well, I don't. Has anyone ever used a lifeline on the hundred pound? They must have done in history. <laughs> I'm going to go over variety. Final answer. You see, you did know it, and now you've got £100. Yeah, I'm going to say busted, final answer. 40, final answer. I'm going to go see, see 43, final answer. That is the wrong answer. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well. Kill me. <laughs> It's 39. Hey. Just tell me what you would have said. Lost Boys. You'd have said Lost Boys. Yeah. Well, if you'd have done that, you'd have been in the Thousand Pound Club. Oh, OK, that's fine. It was, in fact, the Goonies. Oh, oh now I am going to get tongue enough. Yeah, you're, um... Well, you've done really badly. <laughs> right, it's time to take a break. Join us in a few moments for the final part of Dumb Britain. <laughs> you know, it's me. Yes. Right, uh, here's what I think. Here's what I think. Here's what I think. I think you've taken leave of your senses. <laughs> <laughs> I have only ever worn, until I started hosting this show, clothes made by Levi's. <laughs> <laughs> it is extraordinary, this coincidence, that you don't know, because I don't either. <laughs> Guess what I got in my maths O level? A U. <laughs> right. I have two doctorates in engineering. I haven't got a clue. Um, <laughs> did you do any research on me at all? Well, no, it was... I just thought... And where did I, you I... find something that said, Jeremy, Jeremy <laughs> has a keen interest in opera? <laughs> I'm extremely proud to say I don't know. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. I do remember that their second one was really drab. I do remember them just thinking... But how do we know Viva Forever then? wasn't drab? Because That's we don't a fair point. know how it went. I mean, well, let's if be there are any Spice Girls watching, I'm so sorry. Um... I'm not. Your songs were drab and awful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, compared to the Doobie Brothers, you were rubbish. <laughs> it's, it's just how it, it is. Um, tomorrow... 
or the day after rather, when this show is over. I'm going to go uh, into the woods on my farm to remove all the, uh, the drays, stop the squirrels eating the trees. Ah. Didn't know I had a farm, did he? I didn't know that. Ha -ha. No. Then motor racing. The Ford GT40s that compete, well, not all of them, but some of them at um, Le Mans, had a bubble in the roof, which is named after Dan Gurney, who is a very tall racing driver. And I think it's called the Gurney Flap. You're not a movie buff, obviously. No. Never heard of a film called Frost Nixon? I have. Yeah. But... Bit of a clue there. <laughs> um, I was on its last commercial flight. <laughs> they sat me next to the lavatory, or Piers Morgan, as you know him. Um, <laughs> I'm famously hopeless at remembering dates. We're going to have to just work this out, aren't we? I'd already fallen out with Piers Morgan by then. <laughs> so it can't have been 2003, because I wouldn't have poured a glass of water in his crotch, so when he got over, it looked like he'd wet himself, <laughs> which is what I did do. Um, <laughs> you've done your research, haven't you? I don't yeah, think I've actually written for the... Um... <laughs> Yeah, I've written for the answer for the last 25 years. Um, it's the sun. There we are. I to listen. I got one right. There it is, the celebration is swivel. Good. That wasn't very difficult for me, that one. Uh, the only thing that... You've talked in about nine boxes in a hashtag. Have you considered the number of points on a hashtag? No. Which is eight. Yes, you're right! So good. It's just come up on the screen. Octo does refer to the eight points. Jeremy, thank you. What a good lad. Round of applause for Jeremy. <laughs> Whoever, asked, whoever said ask the host, what a brilliant idea that is. What a <laughs> fantastic. Um, there we are. That is the end of this run of shows. Over the last week, we've met some wonderful people and the odd idiot, <laughs> and we've learned many things. We now know the real name for a hashtag. We know which building is on a £10 note. And we know that I don't know that a lion is on the Sri Lankan flag even though I went there on my summer holiday last year and spent every night drinking the local beer, which is called Lion. <laughs> no matter. We shall be back in March. Until then, though, thank you so much for watching. Good night. <laughs>